What's going on guys? My name is Nort and today guys we're going to take a look at the abandoned sawmill in GTA 5. This is going to be scary. Oh my days. Wait, what is that car doing? Is that going... What, what is that doing? Dude, just at the start of this video. What? What is... <laughs> What? Dude, I've literally just introed this video. This is gonna make for a very interesting episode. Oh my days, dude. There's someone in there. Oh my days. All right, so yeah, we're going to be taking a look at the abandoned sawmill in today's video, guys. Um, That was quite the introduction, actually. What we're going to do is take a look at some myths and mysteries going around the sawmill in GTA 5. I've done some research into this. Most of them originated in GTA San Andreas at the abandoned sawmill. And if you guys have played that game, you'll know there's three very specific myths and easter eggs around the abandoned sawmill. And for those of you guys who don't know, GTA San Andreas is based off the same map as GTA 5, so they're both the same world, just in different times. And two of those myths are kind of not proven. One of them is. So the proven one is actually ghost cars in GTA San Andreas. And if you go to the sawmill in San Andreas and then explore the forest around the sawmill, you will come across all of these vehicles driving around without anyone driving them. And they don't really have a destination either. It just seems like they're dropped inside the forest and then just left to drive around or something, which is why the intro to this video is kind of scary actually when you think about it. I, I was not expecting that to happen at all. Now, the reason why the ghost cars are in this game is because of a man with a chainsaw who apparently goes around the sawmill as well as other locations in San Andreas and he will take out players with the chainsaw. Uh, alongside this, there's also ghosts around the sawmill as a result of the person with the chainsaw. What we know for sure though is the sawmill in GTA San Andreas is haunted because the ghost cars are driving around the forest around it. I did some research into this and a couple of people have given this a go. One of them has seen a ghost, I think. I'll show a clip of that. Another one has said they've heard footsteps or they've seen a white cloud in front of them. So I have a feeling this is going to be a very, very scary episode. If you guys do enjoy it, be sure to drop a like on it. Oh, and another person said if you go to the sawmill at 9 in the morning, you will actually find a woman inside there when it's raining or something and she will leave the sawmill running away the moment you see her or something. Something. As if it's like someone hiding from the man with the chainsaw or the ghost or something. Yeah, 9 a.m. GTA Online, girl in sawmill runs off. <laughs> I mean, it just, it, it's so, it's so strange. So many scary things happen around here. So we're going to explore this in today's episode, guys. And I'm just going to put the headphones on. We're just going to do this. Let's just do this, though, frankly. And considering what we saw at the start, I have a feeling we're going to see a few ghosts around here. Or just ghost cars or anything to do with ghosts. I have a feeling we're going to see something scary. Oh, my days, dude. <laughs> No way. I'm, I'm gonna try and laugh when I can just to get over this, but honestly, I am like very scared of doing this video, guys. I've been holding it off for such a long time. Considering those who have explored this have all heard very strange noises. I have to use headphones for this just so I'm able to analyze that and make sure I can hear them as well. Okay, that was that's an animal. That's an animal. That's fine. That's just an animal. <laughs> That's a normal noise. Now the sawmill, although it's meant to be abandoned, it does seem very active. Listen to this, you can actually hear very loud noises coming from inside the sawmill. We're getting this over and done with. <laughs> this is where someone saw a white cloud or a white mist just go in front of them. So we're going inside here first. What time is it? It is midnight. All right, perfect. Let's just stay in here for a few minutes, guys. We'll stay in here until like one in the morning or something. And then we'll leave. I don't like how the noise is fading out. Like, we're not even moving. It's just fading. Alright, let's see if we're able to hear anything, guys. Now, right over there, pretty much right over my shoulder, is where the white mist was spotted. Oh, my days. This is like the longest half an hour ever in this game. Ten minutes to go. If you guys think you've seen anything in this episode, let me know in the comments as well, guys. All right, the train's just coming past. I believe it was over there where the ghost was spotted. With all of this noise going on, it's so difficult to try and concentrate on what's going on. But the one thing which I'm fearing the most is someone jumping out at me, guys. Just Imagine just some guy with a chainsaw just run at you or just suddenly scream or shout. Oh, my days. That's what I'm thinking. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's just keep moving. It's really strange how the noise just suddenly stops. Like, what What even is that? It just suddenly stopped. It... it... I, don't, I don't like that at all. 
That doesn't make sense. The sawmill just suddenly stopped making a noise. As if, like, something is gonna happen. You can carry on. You can carry on working. You can carry on making your normal noise. Oh, now it's really quiet, dude. Wait. Can... No. No. Why is there a train coming in? Did any of you guys just hear that? I'm gonna see if I can hear that noise once the train has passed, but I, I, I heard, like, a chainsaw or something. And it wasn't coming from around here. It was very faint in the distance, like it was behind me. There's some form of a saw happening inside there, but that is not the same noise. I definitely heard a chainsaw noise from behind me. As if it was coming from those trees up there. Right, let's just keep going. Let's keep going. I'm actually really scared now, guys. Why is it so quiet still? Why isn't the mill making any noise? Come on. It's like a... It's a saw noise coming from over there. Can you guys hear that? Yeah, listen. You can hear the direction it comes from. If I turn this way, it goes from that way. Why am I chasing this down? Why, th why, why am I chasing this down? There is, there is like a chainsaw noise coming from out in the open over here. Oh no, why is the train coming back? I no longer hear that chainsaw. That's gone. It was around here though. Considering I, I first heard it up there and now I heard it around here. This is actually terrifying. We're gonna have to explore the forest after this, guys. If you do see anything, let me know in the comments, guys. I'm trying to look at everything I can, though. I think we're going to leave the sawmill for now, guys. I may come back to this if we do find anything else. Let's go into the forest around the sawmill. We're going to go straight up there where I first heard the chainsaw noise. This is going to be terrifying. This is actually going to be terrifying. Let's change the time back over to... We'll do the next day. Let's do the next day. And we're just going to go up the forest and give this a go. Let's do this. That train, dude. I want the train just to stop going by. I'm tempted just to hide in a bush and wait for a noise. That's all I'm tempted to do, guys. Just wait in a bush for the entire video and be like, right, that's it. We're walking through this forest. If we do hear something, the chances are we're going to run into it, guys. The chainsaw noise came from over there, though, which reassures me. It's like, no, the chainsaw noise is somewhere over there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I don't know if that's me or whether I can actually hear a chainsaw. It's coming from over there as if it's from back in the sawmill, but I don't hear any other noises from the sawmill, guys. I can't tell for sure if I did hear a chainsaw noise, though. Maybe the chainsaw guy could be near the road. I mean, I don't know. I'm just thinking. If he's near a road, then he will find people to take out. If he's just randomly in the forest, then he's not really going to find many people. I think we're just kind of leaving the forest up here. I think we may need to go down anyway, guys. There's not much else up here. Yeah, we're going to have to go back down. Yo, okay, I am not like, I, I'm not like hearing things. That was definitely a chainsaw noise. And that sounded like a wolf. There's no wolves in this game. If you could see me, I am, I'm ready to jump off this chair, guys. I am ready to jump off this chair. All right, let's go back down here, Franklin. I, I, I can hear a chainsaw noise. That's a scary thing. Like, I'm following the chainsaw noise. Why does the train have to visit so often? <laughs> I keep hearing the... <laughs> you don't need to sound the horn every time you're coming past. One in the morning. All right, another two hours until we encounter this man with the chainsaw, I guess. <laughs> I'm just trying to make light of this situation, guys. Oh, come on, Franklin. Come on, buddy. You can climb that. All right, I think we're going too close to the main road now. We may need to go back into the forest. And much over here. No, not too much over here. I guess we could go over this, actually. I don't know where this could take us to, but this might go a bit too far away from the the sawmill. I don't know. Let's do this anyway, guys. We're just gonna run. We're just gonna run. <laughs> Alright, fine. No, I'll walk. I'll walk. We'll do this properly. We'll do this properly, guys. Sorry, Franklin. We gotta walk this dude. Right, because we're quite close to the road, we can hear a bit of traffic, but that's fine. That 
noise actually like it sent shivers down my spine around my head I thought that was it for a moment. Like, it, sound, it sounds crazy because we're just playing a game, but I thought that was it. What was that noise? I didn't hear the end of it, but it was a very high pitch screech. Like, uh, it was like a haunted screech. I don't want to go down this area. I don't want to go down this area at all. When I edit this video, I'm going to find out it's a deer or something. I don't know. Dude, I am, I'm actually sweating right now. I can hear, like, footsteps running up that bank. No, 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 I'm done. I'm so done. Why did I record this? Why Why are we doing this? So I, I heard a chainsaw noise coming from over that, that direction. Right, we're going to check over this bank. And then we're going to run around here. And then we're going to go back to the sawmill. Cool, there's no one down there. All right, cool. No one down there. Let's go. Let's just run around here quickly. Be very quick here, guys. Look, oh, my days. That's a deer. It's just a deer. It's just a deer. What? A what? What? Why? Why? What? What just happened? The deer just ran into a tree and took itself out. What? What? This place is, is actually haunted. It is actually haunted in this game. And why can I hear a chainsaw noise here as well? You guys saw that the deer just literally ran into a tree and took itself out. It's like, no, I'm done. I'm out. So which area of the forest are we in now? We're in this area. This part, guys. There's a sawmill. We're in this area. I've never been so scared to record a video. We've done a lot of ghost videos, guys. But I've never been so scared to record this. The fact that we're actually inside a forest. And it's haunted. It's terrifying. If there's a man with a chainsaw, I would just appreciate it if you could just jump out and get it over with. That deer took itself out about 3 in the morning, guys. If you if you trace back time, that was about 3 in the morning. If there's anyone here, I'd really appreciate it if you could just come out and show yourself. We'll follow this track down. And this will probably take us back down to the sawmill. What's that? Look, look in front of me. There's like a shadow just moving across. Can you guys see that? There's something in front of me just... There's a shadow in front of me just moving across the ground. What was that noise? For real, what was that noise? I actually like... I don't want... I want to finish the video here, guys. There was a shadow walking in front... It's gone now. The shadow's gone. I actually think it'll be the it'll be the end of me if something jumps out at me guys it will actually be the end of me No 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 dude Can I still hear that? All right, let's keep going. We did not just hear a chainsaw. We, we did not just hear a chainsaw. I'm definitely going to be editing this video just laughing back at myself just for real, why are we doing this? <laughs> All right, just keep walking along here. We're going to go down to the storm. Where do we turn in? Where do we turn in? Oh, it's right here, actually. I'm running back now. We're running back, guys. Can we follow this down? Oh, is it down here? Is this the road? Yeah, this must be the road. I could definitely hear a chainsaw, guys. I'm going to let the train pass. We'll just let it pass. We're going to have to go and see that vehicle, guys. Yeah, we're going to have to go and see that vehicle. That sounds like where the chainsaw noise was coming from as well. I might wait until it's daytime. That'll be okay now, guys. Let's just let's go over to the vehicle now. Why is there a vehicle here? Is that someone in the vehicle? What is that? What is that? 
Whose vehicle is this? Who? Who put this vehicle here? I have like one of those feelings that if we discover this in the night, then the chainsaw guy would totally come out and get us. This is like, well, this isn't like, it is. This is, this feels like the ghost car. The proven myths from GTA San Andreas. I mean, there's no one in it, so it's already driving around, but what, why, why is the vehicle here? The, the road is there. It's like the vehicle went up this road and was like, nah, let's just go down here. We'll park the vehicle here and then we'll leave. I, like, I, I, the last time I heard the chainsaw, it sounded like it was coming in this direction as well. Right, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this place is actually haunted. Now you guys know. Now I know. Now I totally know. We're probably going to do another video with this. Just exploring this forest again. Uh, around the sawmill. And all of those things, guys. Uh, remember to actually... I'm taking I'm taking these off. I'm taking the headphones off, guys. Just in case anything else makes a noise uh, in the outro. So, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, guys, be sure to drop a like on it. Subscribe as well. That would be amazing. If you have anything you want to share about this, let me know in the comments below. If you have encountered anything. If you've seen anything. If you can hear any noises coming from the forest. But, yeah. Overall, this is actually really scary. And I know I'm going to have to come back with another video exploring this. But, thanks for watching. My name is Nort, and I will see you guys next time.